Allies Knox was a trailblazer in the world of entertainment, breaking barriers and achieving great success as an actress, model, and designer. Born in Massachusetts in 1917, Knox began her career in the 1930s, gracing the covers of numerous magazines and establishing herself as a popular model. In the 1940s, Knox made the transition to acting, appearing in a number of films for major studios such as MGM and 20th Century Fox. She starred alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Mickey Rooney, Judy Garland, and Alan Ladd. Over the course of her career, Knox appeared in over 30 films, demonstrating her versatility and talent as an actress. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Knox was also a successful designer, creating her own line of clothing and accessories. Her designs were popular among Hollywood's elite, and she even opened her own store in Beverly Hills. Throughout her life, Knox was known for her beauty, grace, and style, and she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She passed away in 2012, but her legacy continues to live on through her films and designs. Allies Knox was a talented actress, model, and designer, known for her work in the mid-19s. She appeared in numerous films, including The Body Disappears and Housewife. Knox also had a successful career as a model and designed uniforms for the military during World War II. Do you have a favorite moment from one of Allies Knox's films or performances? Is there something about her that stands out to you compared to other actors from her time? We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories in the comments below. There are many interesting stories and facts about Allies Knox that you might not know. From her early days in Hollywood to her impact on the fashion industry, there's much to discover about this classic star. So, keep watching to learn more. Allies Knox, born Elise Jorgensen, was raised in Manhattan by her parents, Norwegian immigrant Martha Berg Jorgensen, and American businessman Edward Jorgensen, aider her mother, a former fashion model, encouraged Eliza's interest in the arts, enrolling her in dance and art classes. At the age of 16, Eliza won the title of Miss Manhattan in a local beauty pageant, which led to her discovery by a talent scout and her subsequent entry into the world of acting. Eliza's early exposure to the arts and her natural talent for performing were key influences in her decision to pursue a career in acting. She was also inspired by the work of actresses like Greta Garbo and Marlene Dietrich, who she admired for their beauty, poise, and talent. Eliza's mother, Martha, continued to be a source of support and guidance throughout her career, encouraging her to take on challenging roles and to always strive for excellence. Eliza's early years were spent in a bustling and diverse city, where she was exposed to a wide range of cultures and artistic expressions. This exposure had a profound impact on her, shaping her worldview and influencing her approach to her craft. She was also fortunate to have the support of her family and the guidance of mentors who encouraged her to pursue her dreams and to always be true to herself. In conclusion, Eliza Knox's background, upbringing, and early exposure to the arts played a significant role in her decision to become an actress. Her mother, Martha, and the actresses she admired, such as Greta Garbo and Marlene Dietrich, were key influences in her path. She was also fortunate to have the support of her family and the guidance of mentors who encouraged her to pursue her dreams and to always be true to herself. Eliza Knox was an American actress, model, and fashion designer, born Elsie Lillian Cornbrath in 1917. She started her career as a model and later transitioned to acting in the late 1930s. Knox appeared in over 40 films throughout her career, working with notable actors and directors of her time. She is best known for her roles in My Little Chickadee with W.C. Fields and Mae West, and The Body Disappears with Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Apart from acting, Knox was also a successful fashion designer, creating her own clothing line in the 1950s. She married football star and military hero Tom Harmon in 1944, and together they had three children, including actor Mark Harmon. Allies Knox's contributions to the entertainment industry and fashion world make her worth celebrating. Her talent, versatility, and accomplishments continue to resonate with audiences today. Despite her passing in 2012, her legacy lives on through her work and family. Eliza Knox, born Elise Jagger, discovered her passion for acting during her time at the University of Southern California. She was studying to become a fashion designer when a drama coach recognized her talent and encouraged her to pursue acting. 
Knox's first film role was in Polo Joe, where she played an extra, which sparked her interest in the craft. However, it was her performance in the play Alice in Wonderland that solidified her desire to become an actress. Knox played the lead role of Alice, and her performance was met with critical acclaim. This experience fueled her passion, and she decided to leave her fashion studies behind to focus on acting. Knox's career took off in the late 1930s, and she became a popular actress in Hollywood, appearing in over 40 films throughout her career. She was known for her versatility, playing a range of roles from comedic to dramatic, and her ability to captivate audiences with her charisma and talent. Knox's passion for acting was evident in every performance, making her a beloved figure in Hollywood's golden age. Elize Knox is often mistakenly believed to be the daughter of Frank Knox, a former U.S. Secretary of Navy and vice presidential candidate, but in fact, her father was Frederick Cornbarth. After marrying actor and singer Ricky Nelson, she became the ex-mother-in-law to Ricky's fellow actors Mark Tinker and John DeLorean. Elize Knox's acting career included a role in the film Hit the Ice where she played Peggy Osborne. She collaborated with director Charles Lamont on Mr. Big, a musical comedy released in 1943. Her acting career spanned more than a decade, and she left an indelible mark on the film industry, particularly in the genre of musical comedy. Elize Knox, an actress born in 1917, faced several challenges in her early career. Financial struggles were common, and she had to work odd jobs to support herself while pursuing her dream of acting. Despite the hardships, she remained determined and resilient. Industry skepticism was another obstacle Knox encountered. Being an unknown actress, she faced rejection and doubt from industry professionals. However, instead of getting discouraged, she used these setbacks as motivation to improve her craft and prove her worth. Knox's creativity shone through as she found unique solutions to overcome these hurdles. She took acting classes to hone her skills, and she networked with industry professionals to gain recognition. Additionally, she took on small roles in films and theater productions to gain experience and build her resume. One notable example of her resilience was when she was rejected for a role in a major film. Instead of giving up, she wrote to the director, expressing her passion for the project and her determination to be a part of it. Her persistence paid off, and she was eventually cast in the film. Through her hard work, determination, and creativity, Knox overcame the financial struggles and industry skepticism she faced early in her career. Her story serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that resilience and creativity can help overcome even the toughest challenges. Elize Knox, an actress well known for her work in the 1930s and 1940s, had a notable connection to the world of sports. She married Tom Harmon, a football star and World War II serviceman, whose life was saved by a parachute that was later used to make her wedding dress. Knox's family was also steeped in athletics. Her brother, Ron Knox, played quarterback for the Chicago Bears, and her son, Mark Harmon, was a star quarterback at UCLA. In addition, Knox is the mother-in-law of actress Pam Dauber. Despite her family's success in sports, Knox made a name for herself in the entertainment industry and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Elize Knox, an actress born in 1917, had several breakthrough moments in her career. In 1937, she was crowned Miss California and soon after signed a contract with RKO Pictures. Her first major role was in Having Wonderful Time, where she acted alongside Ginger Rogers and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. This role helped establish her as a rising talent in Hollywood. Knox's performance in The Body Disappears gained critical acclaim and solidified her status as a comedic actress. Co-starring with Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, she showcased her ability to handle physical comedy and hold her own alongside established comedians. In 1942, Knox transitioned to more dramatic roles in war films such as Private Buckaroo and The Navy Comes Through. Her work in these films was praised for her authenticity and emotional depth, especially considering the wartime context. Collaborators noted her dedication to researching and understanding her characters, which contributed to her powerful performances. Perhaps her most notable role was in Battleground, a war film that earned six Academy Award nominations. Knox's performance as a Belgian refugee was widely recognized for its depth and nuance. 
Critics praise her ability to convey both strength and vulnerability, making her character one of the film's most memorable. Throughout her career, Knox demonstrated a remarkable range as an actress, transitioning seamlessly between comedy and drama. Her contributions to the film industry left a lasting impact, inspiring future generations of actresses with her versatility and dedication to her craft. Allies Knox, an American actress, is well known for her iconic roles in films from the 1930s to the 1950s. She began her career in 1937 and quickly became a popular leading lady. One of her most memorable roles was in the 1941 film The Body Disappears, where she played the character of Annabelle. In the film, she delivers the famous line, I don't know anything about it. I swear I don't. Knox also starred in the 1943 film Guadalcanal Diary, where she played the character of Pat Rogers. The film is about the lives of a group of Marines during the Battle of Guadalcanal. One of the most memorable scenes in the film is when Knox's character, Pat, sings the Marines hymn to boost the morale of the Marines. In the 1945 film Pride of the Marines, Knox played the character of Ruth Marshall. The film is based on the true story of a Marine, Al Schmidt, who was blinded during the Battle of Guadalcanal. Knox's character, Ruth, is Schmidt's fiance who stands by him throughout his recovery. The film's most memorable scene is when Schmidt regains his sight and sees Ruth for the first time since he was injured. Knox's final film role was in the 1951 film My Favorite Spy, where she played the character of Gertrude Clifton. The film stars Bob Hope and Hedy Lamarr and is a comedy about a spy who is mistaken for a famous ballroom dancer. Knox's character, Gertrude, is the spy's assistant who helps him navigate the world of high society. Allies Knox's film roles have left a lasting impact on Hollywood and continue to be remembered today. Her characters were strong, independent, and memorable, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Allies Knox, an accomplished actress, is known for her unique artistic vision and process. She approached her work with a distinct style that combined creativity, hard work, and dedication. Knox was known to immerse herself in her roles, studying her characters thoroughly, and bringing them to life with authenticity and depth. Her personal experiences and worldview often reflected in her work, giving her performances a unique and relatable quality. For instance, her background in fashion and design influenced her portrayal of glamorous and stylish characters. Similarly, her experience as a wife and mother added authenticity to her performances in family-oriented films. Knox's artistic process was methodical and well thought out. She would start by reading the script carefully, analyzing her character's motivations, relationships, and backstory. She would then research the character's background, social context, and historical period to ensure accuracy and authenticity in her portrayal. Once she had a clear understanding of her character, Knox would rehearse extensively, experimenting with different approaches and delivery styles. She was known for her attention to detail, ensuring that every gesture, facial expression, and line delivery served the character's development and the story's progression. Knox's unique approach to acting set her apart from her contemporaries. She brought a level of nuance and depth to her performances that resonated with audiences and critics alike. Her ability to convey complex emotions and experiences with authenticity and grace has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Overall, Eliza Knox's artistic vision and process were a testament to her talent, hard work, and dedication. Her unique approach to acting, informed by her personal experiences and worldview, has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Eliza Knox is well known for being the grandmother of Sam Nelson, musicians Gunnar Nelson and Matthew Nelson, and actress Tracy Nelson. She also had a successful career as an actress and was the mother of actor Mark Harmon and actresses Kristen Harmon and Kelly Harmon. During the early years of her career, Knox was often cast in B-movies, but she retired from acting in the late 1940s to focus on raising her family. However, she didn't completely leave the world of show business and occasionally appeared in commercial work. Knox's acting career may not have been marked by high-profile roles or critical acclaim, but her impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. As a mother and grandmother to several successful actors and musicians, she played a significant role in shaping the careers of the next generation of performers. Her enduring legacy continues to be felt in the industry today. 
Elise Knox was a significant figure in the golden age of Hollywood, known for her work as an actress, model, and designer. She began her career in the 1930s and quickly became a popular leading lady, appearing in over 40 films throughout her career. Knox's contributions to the film industry were numerous. She was known for her versatility, excelling in comedic and dramatic roles alike. Her ability to convincingly portray a wide range of characters helped to break down barriers and pave the way for future actresses. One of Knox's most notable roles was in the 1943 film Guadalcanal Diary, where she played a war correspondent. This performance was particularly impactful as it challenged gender norms of the time and helped to redefine the role of women in society. In addition to her acting career, Knox was also a successful model and designer. She used her platform to promote body positivity and inclusivity, inspiring a generation of women to embrace their individuality and uniqueness. Industry experts and those inspired by Knox have praised her contributions to the film industry and her impact on popular culture. Actress and director Ava DuVernay has cited Knox as an inspiration, highlighting her ability to break down barriers and challenge societal norms. Fashion designer Stella McCartney has also cited Knox as an influence, noting her timeless style and ability to make a statement with her fashion choices. Overall, Elise Knox's contributions to the film industry and her impact on popular culture cannot be overstated. Her ability to break down barriers, challenge norms, and inspire future generations has left an indelible mark on the industry and continues to resonate today. Elise Knox, born Elise Janna Newman, faced a heart-wrenching tragedy when her husband, James Hyde, was killed in action during World War II. Hyde, a Navy lieutenant, was piloting a plane that crashed in the Pacific Ocean in 1945. Knox was pregnant with their first child at the time of his death. This devastating loss underscores the sacrifices made by many families during times of war. Despite this personal tragedy, Knox continued her career in acting and became a symbol of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Elise Knox, an actress known for her work in the 1940s and 1950s, had a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She was a devoted wife and mother, and her family was a significant part of her life. Knox was married to the famous football player and military hero, Bill Knox, for many years until his passing in 1994. Together, they had three children, including the actress, Air Knox. Knox was also passionate about several causes and philanthropic efforts throughout her life. She was an active member of the Hollywood Republican Committee, and she supported various charitable organizations, including the American Red Cross and the March of Dimes. Knox was also a devout Christian and was involved in several religious organizations and causes. Knox's personal values, including her dedication to family, faith, and community, informed her work as an actress. She often chose roles that reflected her beliefs and values, and she used her platform to support causes that were important to her. Knox's philanthropic efforts and dedication to her community demonstrate her deep commitment to making a positive impact on the world around her. In addition to her work as an actress and philanthropist, Knox was also a talented designer and artist. She created several successful fashion lines and was known for her unique and stylish designs. Knox's creativity and passion for design were evident in all aspects of her life, and she often incorporated her artistic skills into her acting roles. Overall, Elise Knox was a multi-talented individual who made significant contributions to the world of entertainment and beyond. Her personal values and interests, including her dedication to family, faith, and community, informed her work and philanthropic efforts. Knox's legacy continues to inspire and impact those around her and her contributions will always be remembered. If you're a fan of classic Hollywood, you won't want to miss out on the work of Elise Knox. As an actress, Knox appeared in numerous films throughout the 1930s and 1940s, showcasing her talent and charm in a variety of roles. During her career, Knox worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, including Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, and Alan Ladd. She appeared in a range of films, from comedies and musicals to dramas and war movies. One of Knox's most memorable roles was in the 1943 film Beyond the Blue Horizon, where she starred alongside Don Amici and Jack Haley. 
She also appeared in the 1942 film The Fleetson, which featured a young Daisy Arnaz in one of his earliest roles. Knox's legacy extends beyond her work in front of the camera. She was also a talented designer and artist, creating fashion sketches and paintings throughout her life. As a trailblazer in the entertainment industry, Knox's work continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. We invite you to share your thoughts on her contributions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this article, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creators and innovators who have shaped the world of entertainment. Together, we can continue to honor and appreciate the legacy of artists like Allies Knox.